Hi, and welcome to setting up Twitter Bootstrap with HTML5. To start off with, we need to go to the twitter.github.com slash bootstrap sorry, URL and click on the download bootstrap version 2.0.2. .2. Once that's downloaded, we need to extract the files, copy these three folders into your project. Then you can close this and delete those. Now open up your text editor, create a new file, call it index.html. Now we need to set up the HTML5 doc type. So the doc type for HTML5 is doc type HTML. And now the HTML with the lang of en for English. And now the head tags and the body tags. Now within the head we need to set the meta tag with the char set equal to utf-8. We need a title of setting up Twitter bootstrap. And then we can include some other meta tags as well and I will do meta name equals description content equals, we'll leave that blank for now, then we can have some keywords and content equals, and we'll leave that blank as well. I also want another one which is very useful, the view, Oop, name equals view port content equals width equals device dash width initial dash scale equals 1.0 well, this helps to detect the device and rescale your website accordingly rather than allowing it to overflow in the wrong places right now we need to include the style sheet and we need to go into the CSS slash and that's bootstrap.css and then we need here we need to include jQuery so I'll include the latest version of jQuery you can also do this and we need to do the script tags as well this needs a src of js slash bootstrap.js and this is everything you need to start using the bootstrap and let, if we go to the bootstrap page again and we go to let's find something relatively simple to put on the page okay a Let's do a button. So the buttons for Bootstrap are input type equals button and a class of BTN and then BTN dash and let's have a green one for success. Now if we go to preview this button here is what it looks like, but we need to give it a value, so now when we go back, this is what it looks like. From here you can do everything with the bootstrap and then set up another JavaScript file for custom JavaScript, etc. etc. Et and that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.